In this video I would like to repair this screwdriver with the 3D printing. The plastic broke down from the metallic part and I want to do this not because I desperately need this screwdriver. Well, actually uh, I need it, but it is part of my collection which is always on my desk. But the real reason is that uh, I want to see how big torque I can transmit between 3D printed and metallic part. Few words about what is a torque. Torque is moment of force. Force multiplied arm or length is the torque. SE unit for torque is Newton meter. So this unit I will use in my experience and my results. It is important to clear this question because in more and more cases I have different projects where I have to join 3D printed and metallic parts. Of course, if I want to join a stepper motor with the shaft I will use a metallic uh, coupler because they are standard diamonds, they are very cheap, you can buy them and they are much better uh, than the 3D printed or plastic versions. But sometimes I have to attach 3D printed part directly to the shaft. For example these spur gears or this worm gear directly to this cylindrical shaft. In most cases I want to place these plastic parts on the shaft of the DC or stepper motors. DC motors usually have these cylindrical shafts. Because uh, they are usually uh, rotating on high uh, rotation speed, revolution per minute, but uh, providing a low torque. Now different is when you are using a DC motor with attached reduction gears. Here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, usually they are, all, uh, they are rotating with small speed, but they uh, can transmit much bigger torque and usually they have this D shaft with the flattened surface. And this is important because uh, with using this flattened surface we can uh, apply much bigger torque between shaft and the object on, on it. And also I, I have this flattened surface on my uh, broken screwdriver so I will try to attach here on the flattened surface the 3D printed part but also I'm, for curiosity I will try to uh, fix it uh, on this cylindrical part um, probably above this. With this I can apply much smaller torque, but I want to compare these two values. So how can I measure this torque? I will use a scale, but with the scale I can measure the mass in kilograms. But if I multiply the mass with the G acceleration, which is approximately 9.81, I will round it to the 10 meter per square seconds, then I will get the force in Newtons. And if I multiply the force with the arm or length, then I can get a torque. It is time to set my goals. I want to repair this screwdriver, but with a joint which can apply uh, torque usually used by a human hand uh, turning a screwdriver. First I checked the literature. I couldn't find exact values, but for example for wrench. Uh, with a 3 cm wrench, usually it can apply 1.8 Newton meter, but uh, screwdriver is much smaller, we don't have this uh, arm here. So I decided to measure it myself, how big torque I can apply with this wrench, but using it only with one hand as a screwdriver. So if I place it on this scale and turn it with only one hand, I can see that I can apply approximately a little bit below one kilogram mass to this scale. And if I multiply this mass with the G acceleration and I multiply, I think this is 20 centimeters, you can see this is uh, the torque in Newton meter. So uh, I need uh, a joint which can apply this uh, torque between 3D printed and the uh, metallic part. For this experiment I have to 3D print few things. First I have to 3D print a holder for the end of this screwdriver which will go inside this waist to prevent it uh, for the, from the rotating until I am measuring the torque. On the other side there will be another 3D printed part which will be screwed to these uh, flat surfaces 
and outside it will go inside this French. And on this French I will place a hanging scale and from this I can calculate the applied torque on this joint. Any questions? First about screwdriver holder. Basically I needed only these three dimensions. This is the diameter of the main shaft. And I cut that piece part from this box. I split it into two and uh, use the pull tool to, to create this gap now. And I have two halves of this screwdriver holder. This will give me the good grip so until I'm measuring the torque the screwdriver will stay in one place in a vase. Printing of this part was very easy. I use 100% infill but uh, it was printed in uh, approximately 20 minutes and I needed less than one meter of filament. And because of this near horizontal surface I use 0.1 millimeter layer height. And this part will be the 3D printed part for the testing. This goes inside that wrench and here you can see I had to add this wider area here because when they properly under the press created that, that flat surface on the screwdriver the shaft there became a little wider so that's why I have this wider part here and let's see this in section analysis here you can see holes for two nuts so here two M3 set screws will go inside and, and squeeze that flattened part of the uh, screwdriver and here I like to use the square nuts because they have bigger surface to align and this will give me better locked position for the nuts. So let's see this holder in uh, slicer, push a slicer. I used uh, four parameters here and this will give me a full 100% infill on this area here because uh, a nut will align on this surface here and here so they will push out the material so that's why I have now here 100% in free text to this uh, number of the perimeters here and here where it's covered I added a color change which will insert M600 command to my object but I will replace that because I don't want a real color change I only want, want to, to stop the printing until I insert the nuts and then continue with the printing and I use 30% uh, infill and as I mentioned PLA for this printing. Oh, it's bending. 
the plastic, but it can put torque kilograms on this distance. I will calculate the torque later. I will do it until I break it. Oops, 2.5, I heard a crack. In second test, I placed a new holder on the cylindrical part only. Zero point thirty one. This is my final version here. Uh, let's see that in session analysis. So here goes the metallic part inside, and I changed. The, this for M5 nuts because they have bigger surface and stronger set screws so I will see uh, in the final testing how it uh, how it perform and it will be printed in this position of course without any supports so this is the final version in a slicer and here uh, you can see I added this generic box in a Prusa slicer where I can change the infill to 100% because I didn't want the whole screwdriver to be in 100% infill. Everything is printed with 50% infill. I use three perimeters. Only this area where, where the nuts goes in are printed, as you can see, in 100% infill. So here goes the nuts this surface must be very strong these two surfaces because it's pushing outside and of course uh, before closing the material so exactly on this layer at, at the beginning of this layer i added a color change again which is inserting m600 command i replaced that for only to pause stop the printing until i insert these two nuts and then everything is will be printed uh, automatically as you can see here I ha still have 100% infill and here uh, everything uh, has 50% infill I think a good test for the screwdriver is to screw into the wood because it requires a constantly higher torque. Unfortunately this screw I had is in very bad shape, the head of the screw. My screwdriver constantly slept from the head, but anyway you can see that uh, I really applied a very high uh, torque to it. Even using a, a machine drill tool uh, wasn't easier. But in my next test I used a machine screw or bolt because its head was in perfect shape. And uh, here I used a plastic uh, washer to get more elasticity. And then I tied the screw as much as I could with this new uh, screwdriver. 
And then I uh, tested with the torque limiter on, on uh, my uh, machine drill. And as you can see, it didn't move at all. Then I raised raise the torque on limiter. I tied the screw and then I try again to type with this uh, screwdriver and I could uh, rotate a few degrees. Mm -hmm. And at the end, again, I use a screwdriver to uh, take out the screw, the bolt. And uh, I really even forgot that this is 3D printed uh, screwdriver, so it really feels like a real original screwdriver. I'm very happy with the result. Well, this was a very pleasant surprise to me too, because I wasn't sure that it will work at the beginning. But what is more important that I learned a few things, because this is the first time I did this kind of uh, experiments. And now I know that uh, this method can be used with those motors where the torque is, for example, below one newton meter, like in case of those smaller DC or even name a 17 stepper motor. Of course, where we, uh, we have a, a gear reduction, there the torque is much bigger, so this method cannot be used there. Probably there we need some metallic uh, objects or methods. But I'm open for discussion. If anybody has some advice for, for improving this work or, or other uh, joints or coupling the 3D printed and metallic objects, feel free to write me in the description. Thank you for watching and uh, happy printing.